recently announced its Google Pixel 2 phones, which will be the first to come with Google Lens. Google Lens was announced during Google I.O. 2017 and it is a feature which is designed to bring up relevant information based on what your camera sees. It can do some powerful stuff like identify the type of the flower or connecting to a Wi-Fi directly by scanning the Wi-Fi details. But what about the non-pixel phones which want a taste of Google Lens? Well, that's gonna take some time, but you can still get a taste of what Google Lens can do with a combination of Google Camera app and Google Assistant, but with less power. It cannot tell you what the type of flower it is, or it cannot connect to a Wi-Fi directly, but it can do some other useful stuff. Like you can scan the text in different products and it can give you information about the product. As you can see here, I am scanning my Sony A6000 camera and it gives me information about the lens I am using and about the camera. Here I am scanning this book and after scanning it, it gives me information about the book and provides me links to e-commerce sites where I can buy it which is very useful. Another thing which really impressed me is that it can also scan logos and give me information related to the logo. I also tried scanning a picture of a famous monument, the Taj Mahal. I opened the picture in my laptop and scanned it and it gave the correct result which I did not expect it could do so. So I tried it again on a high resolution picture of an animal and this time it failed. So yeah, it was a hit and miss experience. Well this thing does not work correctly every time. Sometimes it might give you wrong information, so you need to be careful. I also observed a strange thing about it. I don't know whether it is a bug or Google deliberately did this, but just watch this and observe. So that's all in this video, the combination of Google Camera and the Google Assistant is a hit and miss right now, with lots of scope for improvement, which I think will be improved a lot in Google Lens and I cannot wait to try it out. Thank you guys for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this. This is Pragyan here and I will catch you guys in the next one.